Hey guys, guess what? I am back in my kitchen. You know, I did promise you guys that I'm gonna start making more content since we're all at home and we're spending a lot of time in the kitchen, maybe on the couch, I don't know. <laughs> but I want to show you another amazing recipe. This is one of these recipes that I cook at home. It's quick, it's tasty, and it's almost better than the restaurant. Guess what it is? Shrimp lo mein. So if you want to try this tasty meal, stay tuned. So now I got to tell you what you'll need to make a throwdown salmon uh, shrimp lo mein. Let's start with your shrimp, of course. Um, you can get that at your local grocer. I usually like to get the big, juicy shrimp. Those are always so tasty to me. Then some snap peas. Um, I love snap peas, I don't know about you, but they are so delicious to add a little crunch to your meal. Also some uh, carrots, I like them shredded or julienned. Some baby bella mushrooms, also julienne those. Some bok choy, or actually, I'm sorry, some napa cabbage, but you can use bok choy, that's why I said bok choy. Um, napa cabbage is really great, really crispy, gives you that nice little extra crunch in your lo mein. We also have your onions. So you, your scallions, also green onions, is what you'll need as well. Um, use the whole scallion, guys. Use the whole green onion. You can pretty much use all of it. The white part, which is here, and at the bottom, I've even saved the lighter green parts for you as well. And then the top darker green are great for garnish. These are so tasty. And then you want a regular white onion that I just julienned as well. You see, beautiful, beautiful cut there. And then heading over to the sauces, these are supreme sauces. This is what's gonna take your lo mein to the next level. We have some hoisin sauce here. Um, hoisin sauce, I found out, is used a lot in Asian cooking. So if you can, run to your local grocer and get you some hoisin sauce. Also, oyster sauce is a huge game changer. Um, it's gonna add such a robust flavor there. And then this little guy has a lot going on. So I have some sesame seed oil, I have some dark soy sauce, and some regular soy sauce. The dark soy sauce is going to give you that nice, rich, dark um, uh, color to your dish. Um, and then the regular soy sauce, that's where the flavor comes in. And then just a little bit of sugar, not a lot. Um, I have some sugar here and I will also be adding in some um, ground pepper as well as some freshly ground salt. Um, and if we want to come back a little bit to the, like I said, the Napa cabbage you can find in your local grocer. It's not going to be that regular cabbage that you're used to. It's a little bit uh, differently shaped and it's very easy to cut. I just, you know, snap the leaves off like so. See, look how tough that is. Look at that, you see that snap? And then I just took my knife here. Come on in, cameraman, don't be shy. And just do a chop like so. Look at that knife go. And then you wanna go ahead and add that in your pile. That's how easy it is to julienne the cabbage. So, are we ready to fire up our stove? Yes, we are. All right, let's fire it up, guys. water and let it come to a boil because this is where the magic happens with the lo mein noodles. I got these lo mein noodles from my local Asian market. These are very, very fresh, um, so you don't want to keep them in your fridge for too long or they will mold. I've learned my lesson, guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open these up and throw the noodles in the pot because they want to get hot. So just take it here. 
Oh, look at that. That's a little tough there. There we go. Oops. Rip it open. And you want about 16 ounces of their already pretty much cooked noodles. Beautiful. And these will separate. Throw them in that pot. There you go. Beautiful. Get some tongs and break those noodles up because as you saw, they were a little clumped together. You see how I'm doing with the tongs? Beautiful. Look at those noodles. Ah. Got a little hot water splashing on you, but that's okay, it's your kitchen. Things are gonna happen, just let them happen. I'm filling a pot up with some oil and I wanna make sure that the oil is covered on all the sides, so just swirl that oil around in the pan, like so. Gotta drain the pasta now. Only let it cook for about one to three minutes because it's already technically cooked. And then to stop the cooking process, turn on that cold water. That's what we want this time. Lift your pasta noodles up. And go ahead and, ooh, that steam gets hot. We're cooling them down though, because we want to stop the cooking process. time to stir fry. Throw in those onions. This is gonna go fast, guys. So make sure you have all your stuff ready to go. Throw in the shrimp. Go ahead and give that a little mix. Throw in your mushroom. Your carrots. That's why I prep ahead of time because the cooking process is gonna go super fast. Some Napa cabbage. Not too much. The reason why I'm not doing a lot of vegetables is because you don't want it to start, um, you want it to stir fry. So in order for it to stir fry, the less the vegetables, the, pop, uh, the better. I do have it on a high heat. I'm using my wok. I got this wok from Walmart by T-Fowl, the great wok. And as you see, you're just getting those vegetables a little bit wilted, not too much. The shrimp, you know, is cooked when it starts to turn pink, as it is doing. Got a little, a, a few shrimp that's trying to be stubborn. There. And just keep mixing. And this is my favorite part. Take it if you have to and just do a little shake if you can, a little shimmy shake. Oh, look at that. I'm getting it. Got a flick of the wrist. Flicky of the wrist. And keep cooking. All right, so don't let the fun stop there. Go ahead and put in those snack peas. And now it's time to add your noodles. Get those noodles all in there. Look at that, beautiful. And then you wanna go ahead and add all your sauces. So this is the oyster sauce. The hoisin sauce. Got 
the soy sauce, and sesame uh, seed oil. A little bit of sugar here. Sprinkle that on. Some salt. Some black pepper. That should be good. And it's up to you too if um, you want to add some, make it spicy and add some uh, red pepper flakes or some sriracha sauce. But now you want to just mix that all together. Get it mixed in there, all the sauce. And as you see, the coloring is starting to come. Just keep continuing uh, the cooking process and making sure those vegetables are incorporated into the noodles. This is tasty, guys. I've had it before and I absolutely love it. And sometimes, you know, instead of getting all specific on, oh, I need two tablespoons of this and two tablespoons of that, I don't do that. I kind of eyeball it and whatever color it manifests, that's the color. Like if I know lo mein looks like this color, then I'll go, oh yeah, that's it. That, that's, that's what we're working with. So that's what you want to do. And with it stir frying, you are going to sweat. I'm over here sweating bullets. <laughs> but that's good. That lets you know you're cooking. And if you have to, get a fork and do a taste test and see if that, that's what a true cook will do. They'll get a fork and just swirl it around on there and do a little quick taste test and see if that is the flavor that you're looking for. So let's see. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I can add just a tad bit more soy sauce Dark soy sauce, maybe. Because I want to give it a little bit more of that color. Yeah, see how that color changed? Beautiful there. Beautiful. Look at that, we're winning. And I might add just a little of the regular soy sauce. I have all my sauces on top of them. Just a little, there we go. That should be good, guys. I think one more quick stir, and don't forget to add these green onions. So I'm gonna do half, in there and then half as a garnish. Just like so. Look at that. Just like so. And then go ahead and another spin around the block. There we go. Another. Another shimmy shake. And this, look how fast it is. I mean, you got a delicious meal. You got your proteins in there. You got some pasta and vegetables in there. And you're good to go. So I'm gonna plate this up and then we'll give it a little try. Like I said, I am sweating in this kitchen, but guess what? We got a beautiful meal. So it's now time to plate it up. So you wanna go ahead and grab a nice spoonful and just kind of twist as you put it on that plate. And let's add, the, let's add a shrimp in there because that's what this is, shrimp lo mein. We can't forget that. Oops, a little overboard of the pasta, not a problem. Add some shrimps on top. God, oh, he's overboard. Let's get this one on top. There we go, beautiful. And I like a clean plate. 
So we're just gonna take this little pasta. Mmm. I'm gonna get a paper towel. And what I usually do is just wipe the plate clean for all those. Cause you know, presentation matters, guys. Don't just slop anything on a plate, you know? Give someone a nice plate. They love when I cook something and just kind of gather it all together there. There we go. Wipe as much as you can. If you can't get it, not to worry. And then we're gonna go ahead and garnish. So I have some uh, toasted or roasted um, sesame seeds that I got from my grocery store. Just sprinkle that on there. Oh, beautiful. And then a few green onions for garnish. And that's it guys, look at that. Beautiful shrimp lo mein. This is my favorite part guys. I'm gonna take a little bite. Go ahead and get a little bit of that pasta, some vegetable and a shrimp. Come on shrimp, no, don't run away. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my God, mm. so many flavors that you can taste. It's so much better, homemade. I mean, and I love this dish because you can add whatever vegetables you want. Oh, I'm still savoring it. Whatever meat that you want and just make a really delicious meal. So again, this one knocks it out the park. Try this recipe of shrimp lo mein. It will knock your socks off. I will have the link to the recipe below. Make sure you subscribe, like. Hey, if you have a comment and you have a question, feel free to leave a comment below. But I, like I said, I'm gonna continue doing this, guys, giving you delicious meals in my kitchens, in my kitchens, in my kitchen. So please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, bye.